Hi everyone, Julie Sid here doing a source review again. So what I'm going to do today, I picked up at Bennington a few weeks back, well more than a few weeks back, um, it's from Fat Man Chili, Paul at Fat Man Chili to be exact, and I've got two amazing sources to do. There is a third one which I'll leave for another time because it's a hot one. So today I'm going to be doing Numero Uno, number one, and the hot lemon sauce. And here is Paul talking about the sauces and his products. Okay, um, Chili Sid here at Bennington Chili Festival with Fat Man Chili, and Paul here is going to tell me something about his products. Take it away, Paul. Thank you. Um, my sauces I make, make myself, I grow the chilies myself. So they're quite unusual because I don't really worry about how hot they are. What I'm worried about and what I'm concerned about is the flavour. Mm. So I only use fresh ingredients. So the garlic, the ginger, the herbs, the spices are always fresh, no powders or paste. There's nothing artificial in my sauces either. And what I'm concentrating on is the products that I use to put into them. So for example, my philosophy is, if I've gone to the bother of putting lime juice and rum, I want you to be able to taste it. Mm. And most, most people do, you can really taste the difference. We've got a spicy tomato ketchup here, which is mild. And in this one there is fresh basil and fresh rosemary. And a chilli called Piemont de Espelette, which is very unusual. It comes from the Basque country in the southwest of France. Then we have a chilli and cranberry sauce, which is sweet and sour. And I wanted to make like a dipping sauce, but to do that you have to use anti and gum, and I didn't want to do that, so it's my own version of it. But that's very good with salty foods. I've got three medium sauces. There's a green chilli sauce, which has got coriander and mint in it. A smoked sauce, the only one that has powder in it. That's got smoked paprika in it, which gives it the smokiness. Medium again. And then this is a lemon chilli sauce, which has got mango pulp, and it's got limoncello and lemon in it as yeah, well. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, a lot of people say what a waste. Yeah, but there you go. But you know, comes out yeah. really. Really nice with chicken and fish and a good dipping sauce. Then the two hotter ones are both made with predominantly habanero. 90% in that one and 100% in this one. But they taste completely different. This one's got lime juice and Mount Gay rum in it. So it's Caribbean in style. And this one has got more chili, double the amount of chilli in this one and that one, but the predominant flavours are cumin, turmeric, mustard and there's tequila in there as well. Got a couple of um, oils that have got uh, herbs that I grow, grow in my garden in them with dried chilli and three different types of spice rub. So thank you Paul for that. Now I think I'm going to go with number one because it's number one, numero uno. So here we go, guys, nothing special with the bottle, it's a standard size bottle. It's um, Oh, really. Glasses time. So let me have a quick look. It's a 150ml bottle, nice standard size. But what I like is the logo. I love his logo. Look, look at his logo. Fat man chili. There you go. It's almost Mexican y. Let me just focus it. Yeah. Or rather, let the camera focus it. Uh, I don't know if it's still, it's still fuzzy. There we go. Now, all of his label, he looks really nice. It's simple, nothing too fancy, nothing too flash. But you know what? The bottle, it goes with the sauce, it goes to the bottle, and the sauce itself, oh, before we go into ingredients, have a look at this. This is number one, numero uno, Pat Manchini, look at the ingredients on that. Now, oh, there's so many things there, herbs, maybe pepper, the consistency is nice, the colour is yummy, and let's just have a quick look at the bottle. So, ingredients, I'm just going to think, nice thick consistency, really nice Lots of bits in it. I love things with bits in it. This has got herbs in it. And Paul said fresh herbs. He uses all fresh ingredients, naturally sourced. So these are going to have fresh herbs in it. So, ingredients, let's have a look. We have got tomato, water, habanero chili is my face, yay. Onions, wine vinegar, sugar, lime juice, and rum. And we've got salt, garlic, spices and mustard now the allergen here is mustard so obviously if you've got an allergy towards mustard or anything keep away from the sauce but generally everybody else go for it um just having a quick look at to see what i need what else there. there's a lot of in, uh, nutritional information in there about carbs and things which i'm not going to read because obviously if you buy this sauce you can read it yourself so here we go as paul said on his video fat man chili uses only fresh natural ingredients and no artificial colorings Flavorings or preservatives. Our philosophy is to create flavor rather than heat. So this one is going to be a yummy flavor, some sauce. Not blow your head off, yeah. So 
flavour rather than heat. The result of this approach is evident in the taste, vibrant, clean and always fresh. Fat Man Chili, the base in Harrow, okay, so Harrow in London, and Paul has decided to make all, he makes all of his own sauces with everything natural, no preservatives, no nothing. So the flavours are going to be really fresh, yeah? So I'm just going to take these off a second, just to have a look at this. So again, I'm just showing the bottle, I'm going to shake this up, have a look at this nice logo, the Fat Man Chili, I love that logo, very Mexican, isn't it? And then this, look, at the, look at the ingredients in there. This is jam packed with flavour. And as you look at the consistency, not too runny, not too thick, it's just like a divine pour on there. Roma. Wow. Now, I can't taste, smell the heat. Now, sometimes when you have a sauce, you open, open it and your head just goes off. You think, oh my God, that's hot. I can't smell the heat at all. And it's got habaneros in there, which are my favourite. So they've probably got a nice floral taste of their own, which has gone in. Um, now, wine vinegar I can't smell, but there's a hint of lemon juice in there, and I can taste, smell, or detect I like a rummy, but it's not overpowering. Um, and the usual onions and garlic I can smell. So it's really nice because it doesn't smell too much acidic, but yet it has got acidity in it. Doesn't, doesn't smell of it, doesn't smell of the heat, but it's more flavoursome. You know what, there's nothing for this, right? I'm just pour this, and I'm going to do it slightly different. I'm going to pour it over here, and I'll show you in a minute how it looks. Oh, wow, it's really nice to pour. Um, now, having poured this, it's quite, it's got bits in it, it's chunky, not like a salsa, but like a nice sauce. So there are bits in there that you can chew on, and, oh my God, that's going to be nice, isn't it? Okay, so... Wow, oniony, garlicky, habanero-y, a little bit, a, a little bit of a tang to it, but not too acidic. And there's a hint of the little bit of rum in there. So with Paul, what he said was, if he's going to put alcohol in the sauce, he doesn't want it to just disappear. He wants you to actually detect it, but not overpowering that you can't, you know, you can't, that, that you're drunk. But it's just there as a hint, yeah? A bit Christmas, yeah, I suppose. So nothing for it, guys. Get it down my throat, yeah? Wow, that's got loads of layers in it. Um, obviously, got the hamadero in there. The spices is um, it's almost mustardy. I can taste mustardy. Um, the heat is there, yes, but it's so much more flavour. You, the onions, the garlic come in. Um, I can taste a hint of turmeric in there. Um, just thinking, it almost smells. Let me just have a look. It almost tastes roasty, like something is roasted in there. So what did Paul say? Yeah, we have got tomatoes, habanero chilies. He may have roasted the chilies, but the garlic comes through, the spices come through. There's a tiny hint of alcohol in there, like the rum, but not overpowering. And in fact, it goes so well with the sauce that it just goes into the flavour. So you, you can't even detect that. But it's a really thick flavour, some sauce. Now, I really like that one because mm, it's still going. Um, it's a bit warm on my tongue. I can, I can still taste the heat. Now it's not overpoweringly hot, but it has got that habanero kick in it. Um, and I love habaneros. So I can still taste the habaneros. And it's just like a really nice pasta sauce, like, but with more of a kick. Because normal pasta sauces are kind of, I'm not being funny, but they're a bit bland, aren't they? So this one is like a, it hasn't got roast peppers, but there is a roasting smell or taste. Yes, you've got tomato. So if you've got tomatoes, you may have put basil in there because tomatoes and basil go really well. And mm, do you know what? That is really nice. I'm going to have to try some more because I can't seem to get the flavour out of my mouth. And it's just so, so, so nice. Wow. Sorry, Paul. Um, this, this sauce is probably going to get finished by me tasting it. My media crew is sitting over there getting really hungry and wondering when they can have some. So I better stop with this. So quite chunky mmm habanero seeds there's a sweetness to it as well that's what I was worried about the sweetness now there's no sugar in here but there's a sweetness I'm thinking with the alcohol and the tomatoes oh there is sugar sorry there is sugar there's a tiny tiny sweetness in there so it makes it like hot 
with a little bit of sweetness in it with all of the other, uh, other ingredients coming through. And you know what? A nice, thick consistency. Really, really nice. Love that one. Absolutely love that one. I can't get enough. Now, I personally would say pastas. So any kind of pasta sauce, you can put in your spaghetti or anything like that. Um, salads and pastas, um, bruschettas. Uh, you can pop in a Mexican as well. But I think it will go really well with anything with basil and tomatoes. So if you've got some, a dish with basil and tomatoes, this will really pep it up because it'll give it the little kick that you need. And you know what? You can put it in your sandwiches, in your lunch boxes, any of those sort of things. Um, try it on your cooked foods as well, soups and things like that. But I think spaghetti bolognese, a dash of this will go well with it because of the flavour of the herbs in it. Okay, so that's really good, Paul. I love that one. Right, completely different colour. Now we've got um, fat man chilli again, hot lemon sauce. And let's have a look at the label and the logo. I love that, look, fat man chilli, very Mexican again. So, Paul, that's awesome. Hot lemon sauce, and it's a beautiful label. It's simple, but I love, I love the, um, the way it looks like brown paper at the back. It's just simple, but it looks nice, doesn't it, the label. Again, same size bottle, uh, 150 ml, easy to shake. Let me just see, that one, was a bit more thin now, a bit more here the gloopiness. This one is really, really thick. Oh, here we go. Now I can hear the gloopiness of it. And again, look at the texture. Look at the sauce itself. It's divine. It's got the herbs in it. So black pepper, maybe home homegrown herbs, ground down, put in there. Fresh herbs. I'm just going to see the pour. is a little bit thicker than the other one. You probably can't see, but it will go down first. Now I don't know because I've I've done that. I'm just going to, have to wait for a second. I don't know if you can actually detect it pouring, you can't, it's in the grass, look. It's quite a thick one, this one's more mayonnaise-y, but quite thick. Okay, let's have a look at the ingredients in this one. So ingredients, we've got mango, so that's your fruit, yellow peppers, 19% lemon, so that's fresh lemons, 19%, onions, wine vinegar, water, sugar, lemon juice, so lemons and lemon juice, um, fresh chilies, uh, fresh chilies 2%, ginger, Limoncello, uh, garlic, salt, mustard, herbs, spices. And again, the allergen here is mustard, yes? Yeah? So if you have a mustard allergy for both of these, avoid them. Read the ingredients and then you know which one not to have. But everybody else, oh, I think my friend has come to help me. Boo likes this one. I think, do you want to sit down up here, darling? Are you, are, you, are you just wondering? She's just doing the wonder, you know. Sometimes you just go let them go walk about, don't you? Okay, just leave it to it. So, um... Ingredients are nice. Now, colour-wise, completely different colour. like the colour, so it's the mango and the yellow peppers in it. Um, I think that's where main, most of the colour's coming from. And you have got ginger in there. A ginger won't give it that much colour because it'd be a, an amount of ginger you've put in. Okay, nothing for it but the aroma. So, now this one has limoncello. So that's the alcohol in this one. And anybody who has had limoncello or likes limoncello, you know, very lemony, very fresh, yeah? Do you know what? I can detect it straight away. So it's straight away lemons. I can just smell lemons and herbs. That's all I can smell in that one. Lemons and herbs. Okay, there's a fruity texture, fruity aroma in there as well. So fruity. And that's all I can smell. So I can smell obviously the mangoes, the herbs. Um, Lemons. So lemons could be from the fresh lemons or from the lemoncello, that, that citric tang that you get now. This one can be used for marinades because of the citric nature. So here we go. I can't wait for this one because it's just, I'm just wondering about the ball at the top. Okay, this one obviously looks quite a greeny, yellowy um, sauce. I'm just waiting for it to focus properly. There you go. Now, as you can see, it's a lot more smoother than the one I just did. The other one had chunks in. This one's a lot more smoother. So, aroma-wise, do you know what? Very citric, very fresh, herby. <laughs> oh my God, it's yum. I'm just going to try it, yeah? Nothing for it, down the hatch. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Yummy. Absolutely divine. No heat to it. It says three and a half chilies, but I can't taste it. In fact, it's a cooling because I had the other one. It's cooling on my mouth. Um, wow. What can I say? Wow. Um, wow. You can taste, definitely taste the lemons and the lemoncello. Herbs coming through. I can actually think, I think it's oregano in here. So oregano, crunchiness of the seeds and the in the chili. So you've got yellow peppers. I'm just thinking, and you had 2% chilies in there as well. They might just be like mild bird's eye chilies, but the flavour, wow, it's really packed with flavour. It's like tangy, um, herby. I'm just thinking, wow, I love it. I absolutely love it. Now this one is almost like a green pesto, but not. It's um, oh, it's really nice. I can't even tell you what, what it tastes like. It's lemony, herby, fresh, divine it's just absolutely heavenly uh, smells nice and, you, and the mango in it the fruit you can actually taste that little bit of mango in it wow mm, taken about that's really nice um gooses now i said this one on pastas and anything with tomato based um you can probably put it on your pizza base or pastas and things like that um salads and things this one definitely on fresh things definitely on fresh things so I would put it on salads or potatoes or you can add it to mayonnaise to make that dip nicer um, and both of them because of the acidity nature in them you can marinate with them so this one if you marinate your meats with this one it'll give it like a lemony uh it actually because normally when you have acidity it kind of burns off in the flavoring but i think the flavor might stay because it's lemons and limoncello but it's divine it's absolutely i'm gobsmacked how nice was that Wow, obviously you don't know how nice it was. I'm asking you how nice it was. You don't know. It was nice. Take it from me, 100%. Now, flavour-wise, I'm going to give both of these 10 out of 10 or 11 out of 10 even because this one was a bit more hotter. This one's not hot at all. The lemon lemon one, three and a half chilies, not hot at all. This is you can, Anyone can use this one, You know, anybody at all. Um, wow, the flavour is amazing. <laughs> I'm gobsmacked. So anything, I would put it on salads, green things. We're having the salad today. This is going in there. I think it'd be really nice um, on bruschettas, on pizzas, those sort of things. Cooking-wise, you can put it in. If you're making something like gnocchi, you can put it in with the pesto. Instead of the pesto, you can try some of this. Um, I'm just thinking about green, uh, the, the fresh lemon fish yeah so lemon goes really well with fish i think i'm vegetarian i'm guessing lemon goes well with fish you can try it with all your fishes so um grilling your fish cooking your fish try this with it wow it's you know what i'm taking aback that flavor is so nice and that all i want to do is eat it now oh wow paul from fat man Chili, thank you very much for these sauces these are amazing and smells fresh tastes fresh both of them um so guys out there guys out there wow so like I said, wow, especially this one, so wow. Um, you know what, I'm gobsmacked. Right, usual thing. If you'd like to order um, Fat Man Chili sauces from Paul, please put it down. Order, order, order. Like, subscribe, follow the links in the description. Like, subscribe. And guys, please put comments. I do like comments. Okay, thank you very much for watching.